Hello again, Focus Fanatics. In this video, I will be describing guest check macros. Now, guest check macros allow various information, such as the check number or employee's nickname, to be printed directly on the guest check. Additionally, you can control the font size that is actually printed on the check. For example, if you say you have a fast casual counter service restaurant, it prints an order number on the check if for the customers to come up and pick up the order once it's ready. So with the guest check macro, we can actually say print the order number in bold expanded, but print the rest of the header or footer in a regular size print. So let me show you exactly how this is going to be set up. We'll go to locations, locations. We will go to our, let's do it for our counter service here. And select on our guest check tab. And you'll notice the header and footer labels are italicized. So that, that means you can click on it. And when you click on it, it has a list of all the headers and footers that are available uh, to be if that can be used inside the header or footer. And let's just go through the list real quick. We have percent BX, where X is the printer format number that you want to use. And what this does is sets the beginning printer format. So if you wanted to make it an expanded font size for your order number, you would just simply do percent B and the number of your expanded print format in which in our example will be number five and then we can go ahead and write whatever we want and once we've written anything we want we can set it back to a regular print size by doing percent E and the number of the print format of our regular print size which in our case will be the number two so these other macros if you want to print the check number on the header or footer you simply use the percent C the date the check was open you can use the percent D the customer name will be printed if you use percent N and if the customer name is not present we use the tab name now if you want to put the check owner you put percent Q if you want to print the station name it's percent S and lastly if you want to print the time you just do percent T so let's go ahead and I will show you how to make our order number in a bold expanded format and then put the rest of the che check in a regular print. So for our footer, the first thing I'm going to do is click our footer header here. I'm going to say our beginning printer format. All you have to do is simply click on it. You replace the X with the number of the print format which I will show you how to find here in a little bit. So we have percent B5 is the format of our expanded print format. And then we can go ahead and type order number, put a colon. And we once again we do our footer. We can do check number. And so what it's what we've done is say, hey, make this expanded print or order number, and it's going to print the check number. And then we want to set everything else back to regular print. Second so print, remember us for catering. So we just go footer, and we go our ending format is going to be percent ex, and our regular format or normal as it's called in setup, we'll just do it's the number two. And that is how the guest check macro header and footer is, is used. So the next time the receipt is printed out, on the very bottom of the footer, the first line is going to be expanded, and it's going to say your order number is 73, assuming that the check number 73 is the current check. Go ahead and hit save, close. And the last thing, I'll show you how to get the format of the print, uh, the number of the print format. So we go to printer, printer formats, 
and you simply just go down the list. Initialize will be number one. Number two is going to be our regular size or normal, if you will. Then we have three, four, and five is our expanded print that we're using for our order number. Well, that about wraps it up, guys, for our guest check macros. And until next time, fanatics, stay focused.